So a couple people have commented about the tracker and as to whether or not it's actually worth doing and if it makes a big enough difference and maybe I should just add more solar or whatever. So I wanted to take a quick look at how effective it is. So you can see that we're looking at the two arrays. Now the top one is a 1680 watt fixed array and that bottom one here that we're looking at now, that's solar two and that's the, the array that's actually on the tracker itself that's actually tracking the sun. So uh, I've got the remote here, so we're gonna go over to the window. I think I can still do this um, for a little while longer this morning and get it, at, get it through the window before the sun interferes. And we're gonna put this almost, uh, we're gonna set it to just about uh, totally aiming south like the fixed array. And we'll go back from there. So uh, we'll move this over so that it's, um, pretty much just uh, facing the same direction as the array up on the berm. Uh, almost, but not quite um, good enough for our effect. And you can see the difference now on how much power it's making versus how much it was making just a minute ago when it was pointing directly at the sun. And uh, actually, the, uh, the sun's still coming up, so the, the fixed array is actually starting to make even more power as, it, as the sun comes up higher. Uh, and we just dropped the power output of the tracker by turning it just that far out of the sun. So let's move it back a little bit. Um, just come back a little bit, not all the way. And I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 degrees back. And if we look now, we can see the difference just that little bit made. And again, the, the main array, the fixed array is still going up. So I lost the ability to uh, control it through the window. We're going to go out and just uh, release it from manual mode here um, and see what it goes back to make and pointing straight back at the sun again. All right, so now it's in auto mode. Pointing at the sun directly again. And you can see we're right back up at that 420 area. So, yeah, um, it actually makes a pretty good difference if you're trying to maximize the amount of output from your existing panels.